So y'all only know, know Nelson. Like like Wait, Romello be dunking and shit. Like. Personally, I mess with Romello more. Caught the ball, drove baseline. I see Shaq just sitting in the paint, just dropped it off a little bit. He dunked it. I don't want you to just hear to do social media. What do you want out of this? That's it. We about to do a photo shoot yeah, at Newport Beach. It's cold as shit. It is nice to be able to do something with one of my good friends, bro. That's before my ducking days. It's a little bit more fun. It's making up for how cold it is for real. Oh yeah, y'all can do that, right? Just edit my body onto that, right? Show me, show me, show me. Hey. Yeah. Those are great shots of Romello. Looks tough. That was terrible. The wind was like low-key strong. Like it was pushing me out the way and stuff. The sand blowing on our legs. It's like it's scratching us. And then they got me in a t-shirt and some shorts. That's a wrap. That's a wrap with this guy. Right now we in LA. We got a lot of side quests we gotta do. We got a couple photo shoots. I have one TV appearance. Dinner for Hudson Show. Appreciate it. They look at me as bouncy, like when people see me off the court, they can tell. I just be having that on for real, for real. My foot the longest hell. Yeah, that shit's hell too. Like, it's nice here. I do like fashion. I'm not good at suits at all, so we had someone pick out my suit. That's not. These thin socks. Yeah, I ain't got no thicker socks. Mm -mm. I, got, I got old chomp socks. Black? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you need these? The mom said bring some black underwear. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be done. Bro, I can't put my hand in the pocket. Nah, this. Sh I got fake pockets on here. I was rich. I'm not rich. You, you, you're rich. You're rich. In spirit. I mean, it's good you know the difference. But hard as you work, you will be too. It is and will be. Oh, I hate doing photo shoots. I hate to. Do, I hate doing photo shoots. Just take like three. 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 No, you got back up. No, you got back up. You got back up. You got back up. It has to flash on everything. Oh my god, don't die. <laughs> just take them, just take them, just take them, just take them. And it was really like some, some old classy type photos. I mess with I mess with it. You finish the photo shoot, you head to the Clive Davis pre Grammy party. The invite only. The invite only. Period. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I've had this experience with Nana, but I've never had it with one of my children. This is going to be very interesting for me. Big Tom. That's my youngest son, Romello. Red carpet was honestly overwhelming for me. Like, I, like a lot of people ask for interviews, saying your name, stuff, a bunch of flashes, all that loud thumps. Well, I mean, it's the red carpet. Half the size gotta be twice as good. When you're small, you gotta make your presence known. It gotta be loud. Damn near the whole season playing like 0.3 minutes a game. So, but I just had to keep my head up, keep getting in the gym. I already had a lot, a lot of motivation just from not playing a lot, but. Coach Phrase called me over after practice to talk about me developing as a player. I don't want you to walk away from this experience as being like you're just here to do social media. I don't want you to have to follow that stigma it's because of my mom. No, you're here because of you. I really want you to grow in this game. What do you want out of this? I want to play D1 at first, and mm -hmm. then from D1, I want to try to get to NBA. I, I, I think I told you to watch, uh, was it Muggsy Bowles? 
Jesus. And the reason why is, is because of statue and size. Nah. <laughs> I've never seen Muggsy Bogues film. <laughs> They've been telling me to do that for months. So I, I just, I just never watched it. Who do you watch? I be watching Darius Garland. It's like, he's shifty. He, he has a high motor too. I mess with it. Do you feel like you're doing everything in your power to reach that goal? Yes. Tell me what that level looks like. Do you trust me to, to go up 94 feet? Yes. And if I have to, like, if I'm the only point guard in, you can trust me to make the right decision. Yeah. And not knock down the open shot, um, engage with my teammates, keep a high intensity, however long I'm in. And, and on the bench, too, being active on the bench, all that stuff. I just want you to be more engaged. I want you to feel like you belong here. So, moving forward, I'm, I'm going to give you the opportunity to take advantage. You understand? All right? All right, dude. I feel like that meeting gave me more confidence. I mean, it's just the minutes are too, like, inconsistent. But I'm still locked in. Melo. Man, don't ever let nobody pick you up like that again, man. So we traveled to North Carolina for an away game. It's the Blue Checks. The fireman that gym was crazy. Melo, you scared? No. He's scared, as you can see. If I'm anxious for a game, that'll only hurt me. Because I feel like every time I've been anxious for a game this year, I don't get in. So I just make sure to keep myself motivated, keep myself confident. If I got in, just do me. Going into the game, I felt pretty good. Look at Jamelo. You put a smile on my face. Hey, you get down. Yeah, you gotta make your presence known. It gotta be loud. Like that's like the mental part of it. And then defense picking up 94 feet. That's a smaller guard. Like I could really get under people. It makes it annoying for them to dribble. Our team's looking really good, beating the blue checks. We actually probably have the best roster from first dude to the like 11. I'm always confident. Caught the ball, drove baseline. I see Shaq just sitting in the paint, just dropped it off real quick. He dunked it. That's how you find that mug, boy. Uh, it felt pretty good to beat the Blue Checks because they beat us the last time and because their fans are talking crazy. We took a green match, too. Hey, somebody beat Melo, little up, man. He was out there with him. Today is the day we move into the apartment building. I'm excited to live with the guys. Hell nah. How come I ain't get no damn cold in my door? Y'all not coming in here at all. Who? Yeah. We gonna get you, you think this fan lock saving something, you're gonna be upset. <laughs> and we wanna get in this room, we gonna get her. Trust me. Miss Marvin, if you see this, we want her. It's a safe place to be. Bro, no oh, disrespect, bro. Uh huh. I came to this mud, number five player in the nation, and I ain't getting no balloon, no confetti. Okay, we will not the balloon and confetti. 
flying in the Oh, okay, room. okay. So lower your tone, please, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, but then, you wasn't here from opening day. I was on leave because I just had my hip surgery. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to say something. I, you could have came to my hood. <laughs> 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 My roommates are Carter, Jeremiah, and Parker. They're cool people. But we were supposed to be moving in about an hour ago. My mom's supposed to be here helping me with everything. Hey, you need to get some decorations in here or something. My mom went away with something. I'm not going to You Ikea. sure she don't? I'm she's not going to Ikea. Like, oh, she, she went to Ikea? Awesome. She's going to walk that whole track with all She's not going to be here until 9 o'clock. I got things to do. I got things to do. <laughs> she's not going to be here. What you got to do? I got things to do, man. Hey, what's happening? Y'all have party? So I might have bought a little too much. What's up, Nicole? Why y'all moving like this, bro? What did they say? P home service, now you home? Mello is a self professed mama's boy, but. Melo is here to play ball. He is my one child that will call my name 7.2 million times a day. She said that on camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited for him. Responsibilities that come with living alone now is that I gotta do my own dishes. I gotta do my own laundry. I miss home a lot. I always miss home. This will make it a lot easier because I was already putting extra work at the gym living an hour away, so this will make it a lot easier because I live like one minute, two minutes. The most exciting thing for me about living in an apartment is probably just like always having access to the gym. Like one night I was here with my friend, we was here till like 4 a.m. I had practice at eight, so I really, I just spent the night here. So I'm dead. You just spent the night here? Yeah, I slept in the locker room for four hours. I woke up like 30 minutes before Jay Wilk came in. He was like, yo, did you sleep here? I was like, <laughs> That's crazy. That's wild. I love staying in the gym. It's kind of therapeutic for me, so I reached out to Key to get an early morning workout in. What's up, man? You about to get some shots up? You working your damn jump shot. <laughs> I was training with him before I came to OT, so he's like a small guard trainer. So, like, he really gets, like, my handle right, my pace. Make sure your base is right, so everywhere that ball goes. There you go, way better. <laughs> you gotta think a lot more when you're smaller, so he just gets all that right. He trains a lot of the greats too, such as like Ant Edwards, Brandon Ingram, many more. So I'll just give you a few finishes, right? So first move, we're gonna go, we're gonna go same foot, same hand. Second one, we'll flip it, reverse. Three, we're gonna go Euro step, all right, Euro step. And then the last two, spin move will be four. And then five, I'll give you the option to go over top, okay? Or if you want to, go low, okay? There you go, PG, that's perfect, good. Let's go uh, form shots now, form shots. It's important to do these individual workouts because like, you focusing on just you. So like, you get your craft right, all that. Get your pace right. Worry about it, yes sir, yep. I've learned a lot since I've been at OT. I learned things that I can't handle, can't handle. Things I need to work on. I'm very proud of my growth but I'm gonna keep improving, of course. Yo fam, Darion and I are glad that you made it to the end of the video. Yes sir, for more dope OTE content, subscribe here. And for more videos like the one y'all just watched, check these out here. You're not gonna wanna miss anything this OTE season.